Omega, A, has a flaw. Characteristic of all old opal, susceptibility to corrosion. The arches of the rear fenders, sills, lower edges of the doors, as well as places in the area of backslash U200 B backslash U200 thrust cups of the front pillars rust the most. While the corrosion resistance of machines, released after the 90s are still somewhat better. Salon. The salon is quite comfortable and spacious. It is five-seater, and if necessary, four people can fit in the back. Claims can be made to the ventilation and heating system of the passenger compartment. In wet weather, the windows quickly fog up. The stove fan mode switch also creates problems, in which the contacts often oxidize or the shunt resistance burns out. The volumes of the cargo compartments of the sedan and station wagon are among the largest among the classmates of those years, besides, the sedan is equipped with convertible rear seats, which allows, if necessary, to increase the volume of the trunk, and many competitors cannot boast of this. Engine. The range of Omega, A, power units is very diverse, and their engine life averages 200 to 400,000 kilometers. On cars of the first years of production, the engines have already rolled out their resource and may soon require overhaul, and this pleasure is not cheap. In four-cylinder engines, every 60,000 kilometers, when replacing the timing belt, a new pump must also be installed, which is driven by this belt. As operating experience shows, the water pump, on average, has the same service life, and its failure threatens with the fatal meeting of pistons with valves. On machines with high mileage, oil may leak from under the valve-covered gasket, front and rear camshaft oil seals. Diesel units do not start well in winter, so it is preferable to choose an Omega with a gasoline engine equipped with a distributed fuel injection system. Adjustment and repair of a carburetor equipped with an electronic control system. The process is very troublesome even in the conditions of specialized service stations. Transmission. Omega, A, were equipped with 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic. Mechanics and automatic have proven to be quite reliable. Unless, over time, the seals of the axle shafts and the seals of the shanks in the gearbox and rear axle reducer lose their tightness. Suspension. The suspension has a good ride and even on our roads it lasts quite a long time. Solid blocks of levers can go out up to 150,000 kilometers, and the least, about 40,000 kilometers, are the bushings of the anti-roll bar. Not very durable and front bearings which are supplied only assembled with the hub. Steering. Steering Omega, A, is characterized by some impressiveness. Although quite suitable for this utility car, most Omega modifications were equipped with the hydraulic booster. Over time, in the steering inversions with power steering, the seals of the steering gear and power steering pump may lose their tightness. Although at specialized service stations they can restore failed parts. Brake system. The Omega brakes are very effective and do their job well, providing good deceleration even at high speeds. Both front and rear brakes are disc, and the front ones are ventilated. Many modifications have ABS installed. It is not uncommon for caliper guides to rust in brake mechanisms, so they must be lubricated regularly to avoid problems. Opel Omega, A, and today remains one of the best representatives of inexpensive business class cars. It perfectly combines reasonable cost and functionality, convenience and moderate comfort. In addition, the unpretentiousness and simplicity of the design of the German makes its content accessible to a large army of domestic motorists. A significant drawback of this fairly reliable machine is that the body is subject to corrosion. 